So we're asked to find dy dx given y equals the sine of xy solution. So we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So on the left hand side we just get dy dx. On the right hand side we have to use the chain rule. So this is going to be the outside and this will be the inside. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so you don't touch the inside, so cosine xy times the derivative of the inside. Now for the inside, we have to use the product rule. So this will be the first, this will be the second. So the derivative of the first is 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of y, which is just the derivative of y dy dx. All right, to finish, we need to collect all the dy dx terms on one side by themselves. So to do that, we'll distribute the cosine xy to both of these terms. So dy dx is equal to, let's see, y cosine xy. I just wrote the y before the cosine, just to make it look easier. Uh, plus x cosine xy dy dx. All right, so we have a dy dx here, and we have a dy dx here. So I'm going to subtract this guy. So we have dy dx minus x cosine xy dy dx equals y cosine xy. Okay, so now we have accomplished our goal of having all the terms that contain dy dx on one side by themselves. So now we'll factor out dy dx. So we end up with 1 minus x cosine xy equals y cosine xy. To finish, divide everything by this. So 1 minus x cosine xy. And likewise over here, 1 minus x cosine xy. And that's it. dy dx is equal to the right-hand side, all of this stuff. So y cosine xy over 1 minus x cosine xy. And that is...